And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first title bout of the evening. Uh, this contest will be fought for the ISKA British title. Over five two-minute rounds of semi-pro K1 rules in the 65 kilogram division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He represents Double K Hastings Gym. It's Joe Hilliard. Make his way to the ring now and justifiably wrapped his applause. He's Double K's very own Jack Elliott, 28 years of age. Ray Awake worker by trade. Said he likes to use pressure and volume. He said he's going to win by a stop. He said he's got a strong opponent, but nevertheless, he's ready for it. And this will be his first English title crack. Let's see. Good you know Double K. And they've just had a, two fighters on. And both of them won one by a knockout. Sweet high kick. Around the neck of... Luke Allison by Luke Bailey. That was a good performance and by him. And we see this evening in the going. red corner. He represents the Pride Gym. Please welcome Dom Edwards. So making his way to the ring then is Dom Edwards from the Pride Combat Athletics Gym. 24 years of age. Said he just started training for fun and enjoys it. He said he's got fluid movements and he uses a variety of techniques. Said he's going to win this and then it's one step closer to the big leagues. Let's see. Well, he just joined us here on CFS versus the Hitman Fight League. I'm Billy Shawman and with me is Gavin Sterrett. And we've got a stat card for you. And this is a British ISKA title fight. Live from London, five two minute rounds of semi pro K1 rules in the 65 kilogram division. Uh, this contest will be fought for the ISKA British title. Once again, let's welcome to the blue corner, it's Jared Hilliard. Tom Edwards then brought a good crowd with him. And facing this evening in the red corner, please welcome Doug Edwards. Your referee in charge with the bell rings, Mr. Ricky Shaw. Tom Elliott in the red gloves in the red corner. And Jack. So Tom Edwards in the red corner and Jack Elliott in the blue. Round one. Round one then, let's see. Sharp start from Dom Edwards. Elliot Fleetfooted Gavin in and out quick. Yeah, they're both both quick. Yeah. Both quick. Both good movements. That was nice. Nice left kick. Some good low kicks going in there. And he's showing a lot when he lifts his leg up, Gavin. And he shows real yeah. lack of balance there. It looks more than it actually is. And the judges, they'll see that. Moving sharp on his feet, nippy, Dom Edwards. Any pressure all the time, Jack Elliott. Combinations going in, has to be sharper. Oh, leg caught a few times now, you can just see him there then. Push off's dangerous as well, Gavin. He mm. pushes off and keeps his chip, keeps his head down, and he's got to watch that knee to the head. Nice overhand right, straight back, punches order round. of the day though, going straight through the middle. Back. From Elliot, they take confidence from that. Let's go now. 
frenetic start for both, really. He stalled really well at the beginning of the round. The Dom Edwards, sharp, sharp, and then Jack Elliott started to come in, so there's something that I wouldn't like to score that one, Kevin. No, it was close, wasn't it? It was, it was a real sort of pick on what you fancy, but it was a good start from uh, Dom Edwards. Confident. Here's some of the action. I mean, he was sharp off the lead leg, and he was nippy on the movement. Dom Edwards, Jack, Jack Elliott, Elliott he... started to get come into it into the yeah. towards the end of the round, Kevin. He settled, he settled down towards the end of the round, started to pick his shots well. Show good strength there. So just joined us here on CFS versus the Hitman Fight League and Vinny Shawman. Two great shows collide to bring you a cavalcade of absolute wonderful combat. We're going into round number two then of this ISKA British title. English title, I should say. Sharp combination, straight punches all of the day from Jack Elliott, working well for him, Gavid. Looks sharp, Jack Elliott. Yep. Pushing, pushing Don back. That's nice. Needs to step in with his shots, with them long shots, them straight punches, working so well for Elliot. Elliot's controlling the range of this fight a little bit better. He works better when he starts, Gavin, instead yeah. of trying to counter all the time. He's trying to well, counter he's, too he's, much he's, here. He's, he's, he's pushing him back, so he's got to engage. Nice push kick. Teep as it's known in Muay Thai. Sneaky right uppercut and an overhand right for his troubles. He's not moving back now. Edwards, he's getting pushed back, Gav. Yeah. Lateral movement has stopped, hasn't it, really, from Dom Edwards. Elliot's got to take advantage of this now and go up a couple of gears now. Because you can see, I think the pace, I think, I think Edwards is starting to struggle with the pace a little bit. It is a frenetic pace. Keep looking at the screen as well, looking at the time. Took centre ring now. Elliot, Elliot's round, Gavin. Yeah. He looked the more controlled of the two. He did. Took advantage well, pushed Edwards back most of that round. See you. Yep. It was nice the straight jab. punches that are working yeah, well was, for him. He's working well. He was countering well. He was, well, uh, he was starting. He was starting a lot of the uh, engagements, and then he was countering back. That's again. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. When he was waiting for counters, like he gets caught when he starts, and he but, starts when he's aggressive, yeah. he wins the exchanges, especially with the straight punches. Guy. So we'll see then our referees, Mr. Ricky Sewell. And we are set to go into round number three. Let's see. Round three. Straight out. Nice. Nice high kick from Elliot. Could have watched that, I'll walk into that uppercut as well. Tom Elliott, Tom Edwards, as Elliott's just sharp with his hands. Nice body shot. Took it well though, Elliot. Conditioned enough for it. Good uh, counter good right, right good hand. Good right hand there. This is where he should start. See how much better he is here. Yeah, he's so sharp with the hands there. Yeah. Needs, to, needs, to, needs, to, needs to punish Edwards when he backs him up like that. Good shots from Edwards though. Pushes Elliott back. 
Bit of a ding dong here. Good fight, this, ladies and gentlemen. Round number three. Really, really warming up this now. Yeah. Good shot. Like the way he picks his punches. But he'd be making a damn sight easy if he started first, Gav. He'd make it easy if he started going back to using his left hand like he was in the first couple of rounds. He needs to find the range again with his left hand. And Edwards is struggling with that then. It's good right hand. Yeah, bounced it, bounced off the chin of Edwards. Edwards really pushing the pace now. Tough cookies both these though, yeah, Gavin took yeah. some good shots each. That's it, good boy, that's better. Good, boy. good body shots. Didn't like that one, did he? No. Took a big breath then. Heavy mm. leg kick. Gum shield comes out from Edwards. Round ends. Another good round. I think Elliot felt a couple of those body shots that went in there. Then you can see him in the last few rounds, he's been really, really, really relaxed. There yeah, it's a beautiful right counter right hand. But you know what? When he starts and he counters as well, he looks so classy. Well, he starts and finishes. Yeah. He starts and finishes. This. He starts. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just an update on our Hard nice, Hitters nice UK shot. competition. Good shots there from Jack Clarkson, Clarkson well. currently has scored a fantastic 850 points on the punch machine. One pound a pop, some fantastic prizes up for grabs. Hard Hitters UK. By the toilets, go and have a look today, guys. Highly distinguished judges, Mr. Chris Podesta, Richard Wayne, and Richie Robinson. Round four. We go to round number four then. Chins in the air and just got tested just momentarily straight at the start of the round. Edwards now is trying to turn this into a little bit of a dog fight. He's really he has pushing to. the pace. He has to. He has to. Yeah. And I think. I think now Elliot's really starting to feel that kind of that that those kind of tactics because he's got good hand speed, good eyesight as well. Picks his punches well. Superbly matched fight this. Yeah. Really good clash of styles, isn't it? Spinning back, it was nice, landed sweet. Doing well in this round, Edwards. He's working really, really, really Has hard. Has to, doesn't he? Yeah, working really hard this round. Elliot now's got to up the work right here now. He can't, he can't let... He can't let Edwards uh, dictate this at all. Might be having a round off here, Gavin. Um, but he's scoring really, really well. Edwards. Excitable corner. This excitable fight. <laughs> this is better from Elliot. This is what he wants to do now. Maybe trying to pinch nice. the round here, Gav, just trying to catch the judge's eye towards the end of the round. Like you said, Gavin, he does look tired, Elliot. Yeah, I do think he felt them body shots in that last round. He's still with him a little bit. I'm surprised Edward hasn't gone there again. I'm surprised he hasn't gone through the body again, spinning, at least in this round. Spinning back kick. He's a left up for it. Super fight, this. Yeah, super, good fight, fight so far. Really has to pull it out of the bag though here. I think it's very sliding towards the favour of Elliot. Nevertheless, Edwards had his best round, I would say, today, Gavin. Mm, for sure he did in that round. He really he took control of that control of the fight in that round. Or control of the round at least anyway. Some of the action of spinning back kick, they just missed the liver area of Elliot. But Edwards getting a right shellacking in the corner of his coat. They really understand yeah, that right up, he needs it. this round in the very, very right. Of course they are. Yeah. 
So our referee, Mr. Ricky Sewell, calls the two combatants Ladies to the middle of the ring. It's time for the big round the final round. round. Teeps off both of them. Does hold his chin a little bit high. Elliot. Oh, that was a heavy nice. right hand. Nice, nice left high nice. kick as well. He wants this now. Elliot's fired Elliot up now. This. Yeah. The mysterious pipe there, Gavin, down the pipe. Down the pipe. The pipe. <laughs> Body shot there was nice from Elliot. Good Moves round. his chin away out of the way, Edwards. Good boxing skills been shown by both. Frenetic pace has started from the get-go. Elliot's pouring under pressure now. He wants a stoppage. Really going out of these two. Can only be one winner though. One's going to walk off with his English K1 ISKA title. Both fatigued. Good right hand there from Edwards. Again, Elliot lands with a better counter, spinning back, he just missed. Stop spinning and go to work! Good body shot, seems low. low or... Yeah, it was low, that. John, you need something now. You need something now. It wasn't on purpose. It was low, I didn't see that. Only five seconds left in the round. So there'll be no knockout, and let's see. Nonetheless, it's a great fight. Yeah, good fight, fair play. You know, you've got to favour the better, cleaner work from Elliot. You've got to give credit, though, to Dom Edwards who really did a give a good account of himself going forwards. Good fight, fair play to both teams. Here's some of the action then, Gav. Yeah, you can see that last round was really frenetic. It was, I think it was a little bit about who wanted it the most then. Um, both men really putting a shift in. Sharp hands from Elliot, which has been the hallmark of this whole fight from him, really. But again, let's just see how the judges have got this now, because I think it was close. I think it was closer than it looked. So let's see who's got what. Ladies and gentlemen, both of these men came for war for the British title. Let's have a round of applause, come on. <laughs> and after five terrific rounds of K1 action, we go to the ringside judges, where they have reached the unanimous decision. Let's hear it for your winner and new ISKA K1 British champion. In the red corner, Joe! In the blue corner, Jack! Hellion! Oh, there you go, and then there was a few open mouths there. Whoa! 
<laughs> it happens. It's okay. Even Dom Edwards yeah. went like, well, I don't think that was Yeah, right. even the corner knew. <laughs> but, you know, fair play to Dom Edwards, who gave a high, high amount of energy. And he did a good job there. But Jack Elliott was just a little bit sharp, but his boxing was on point. Congratulations to both teams, and thank you for that.